I'm Bill. And I'm Hagen from Dovetail Brewery. And we're here with your craft beer and brewing tip of the week. So we talked about raw materials, right? And now it goes into processes, techniques, and, and what we think is important. Keep talking about that lager, right? The d dovetail lager. It's 80% Pilsner malt, 20% Vienna malt. No secrets in the brew house, right? This is what we, this is, this is what we've learned. This is what we learned in beer school. And this is the only way the beer gets better. So we start with protein rest at 53C. Mash in, we pull the decoction, a thick mash, boil for 15 minutes, return, raise the 64C, rest for a little while to let beta amylase do its, do its work, pull again, about 30% of the total volume of the mash, boil, return, 72C, rest for about an hour and 15 minutes, sacrification rest, go fully normal, mash out, and, and louder. The question is why decoction, right? There are about six good reasons to do decoction. Let's talk about the control points first on decoction. So thickness of the mash that you pull, the volume of the mash that you pull, and the, and the length of boil, right? So the number one reason uh, the number one benefit to doing a decoction is flavor and color, right? So Maillard reactions during boil, and by the way, we use a direct fire kettle to accentuate those formation of those Maillard products. The thicker the mash, the more color or, and, and pickup and the more Maillard product formation. The thinner the mash, the less color and flavor pickup you get. The general rule right, for pale beers is like 15 to 20 minutes for pale beers and 20 to 30 minutes boiling for darker beers. I think the best way to describe the combination of those elements is it's like a throttle on the maltiness of your final beer. So if you want it less malty, you pull a thinner mash. If you want it to be more malty, you pull a thicker mash. If you want it to be even more malty, you pull multiple decoctions. If you want to have a, a lighter bodied beer, maybe you do none at all. Maybe you just do, just do a step mash. Let's talk about liquor to grist ratios. Thick mash is two to 2.5 to one. Thin mash is really like four, four to one or five to one. For our lager, we do a 3.5 to one. We kind of ride the line in the overall mash. On our first decoction, we pull a thick mash. On our second decoction, we, we pull the thin mash, and there are multiple ways to do that. We pull our first decoction as we're still mashing in when we see that we have a nice thick mash in the mash ton that's usually about five minutes in. But if you mash everything in all at once and then pull your decoction, if you have the luxury of having a mixer and impeller, you can slow down the impeller to the point where if you're pulling off the bottom, you get a thick mash off of it. For more on lager brewing, click, click the, the link, link below. below.